Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS3 system to your laptop. Now you will need this video capture card for this to work, and that is because laptops only have HDMI outputs, and you need to have an HDMI input so you can input your PS3 in. Otherwise you're outputting your laptop onto the PS3 and it's just, it's never going to work doing it that way. These cards right here go from 9 to $20 and they're fairly easy to use. You connect your PS3's HDMI cord into the back of this and then you connect this USB side into your laptop. Okay, with that said, I'm going to connect mine right now. As you can see, there was no sound effect. There was no pop-up or anything telling me that I have connected them. So now what you have to do is make sure you have OBS Studio installed. I recommend just getting the Steam version because it will auto update and it's quick and easy that way. But if you don't want Steam and you don't plan on using Steam games, then just get OBS Studio off of the browser. Alright, once you have OBS installed, what you're going to want to do is just open the application. Once you've opened OBS, you should see something similar to this. You're going to want to find your Sources tab. Once you find your Sources tab, go to the plus icon, click on it. Go down to Video Capture Device. It has a little camera as the picture. Click on that. This menu will pop up. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name my... Oh, I don't have my keyboard turned on. But you could just name this PS3. Then what you want to do is hit OK. Once you hit OK, you're going to want to go to Device. Mine defaulted to the integrated webcam. You're going to want to open this up and find USB video. Once you've clicked on that and hit OK, you will now have your PS3 screen up and running. Now that you can see your PS3 on screen, the first thing you'll notice is that you can't hear any audio. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So what you're going to want to do is find your audio mixer, figure out which one of these three is the audio from your PS3, which you can just move around on the PS3's main menu and you'll see the audio jump up and down on the one that's playing. Now my desktop audio just records everything, I just have that muted, don't worry about that. This video capture device right here is coming from the PS3, and if I would have named it PS3, it would have just said it, but since I didn't name it, it just is default. Once you've figured out which one is the PS3 system, what you're going to want to do is go to Audio Mixer, go down to the gear icons at the bottom left, click on that. This will pop up your advanced audio properties. And once you find out which one's your PS3 system, go to Monitoring Off, and you're going to want to click on that and go to Monitor and Output. Once you've done that, you'll be able to hear your PS3. All right, now I'm going to show you how to go full screen. There is three ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you the easiest way in this video. What you're going to want to do is find out, go to Sources, find the one that's your PS3 system, which in my case it's the top one, Video Capture Device. Right click it, go down to Full Screen Projector or Windowed. I'm going to do Windowed in this example. Once you've clicked that, your PS3 system will show up and you can just expand it and you can do Full Screen. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test the input lag on the PS3 system to the laptop. So let me just turn on my PS3 and boot up a game. I'm actually not hearing audio. Let me see why that is. Is it because I'm not showing it right here? Oh, so you do need to show this. Okay, so if you don't hear audio, you actually do have to pop this up but I don't think that will get in the way. Let me just put this at the very bottom so you guys can see the screen fine. Okay, I hear the audio now. Um, Ratchet and Clank or Call of Duty? You know what, let's just do Call of Duty this time. I love Ratchet and Clank, but if I, if I even remotely touch that game, I'm gonna get stuck playing it for way too long. Um, 187 hours played with almost 200% played. Let's go to Special Ops. Uh, can I load a profile? Um... What's this first one? I'll just see what this first one is. I haven't played this game in a long time. It's 2014! <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Okay, solo play. Let's try a mission on disc content. Which one's a fun one? Um, isn't there like a stealth one that's really fun? It's one of these ones. Is it all oh, little bros? Oh my goodness, I'm remembering these. Um, I'm thinking let's do an action one that takes a lot of input. Oh, you know what? Stay sharp. Why not? It's a classic. Let's see what this input's like. Now, I haven't played on PS3 controller in quite a while, so I might be a bit rusty. So if, it, if I look like a bot, it's because I'm just inexperienced at the moment. But so far, what I've seen is there is not... Re I'm not seeing any Three input lag. Let me see. That feels instant to me. I'm not seeing input lag. Now, I may not have the best eyes for this. Hold on, I am super bad at this game, by the way. I used to be a pro at it when I played on PS3 all the time, but now I, it has to be like a new gen one. Especially if the push sticks in a weird way. I don't even know what's going on. Wait, hold on. Is input stopping occasionally? I think I might just be a bot. Oh! No, 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 no. I remembered. This controller is meant for third-person games. Okay, that's what it is. Maybe I should try Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay, hold on. Let's try let's try Ratchet and Clank. Cause this controller is better for third person games, so I'll be able to tell better. I think OBS doesn't have input lag anymore, at least the Steam version. Oh no, this is instant. Tired of those unsightly blemishes. Fed up with Hold on, let me up. land on this then try over here. Q-Pour, my new moisturizing lotion pending approval from the Pangolactic Health Administration. Q-Pour, does oh, it work? Oh yeah, there's no <laughs> input lag. There's the none. If there is, if somebody says there's input lag on this, then their eyes must be like 900 it's FPS right or something, because I'm not seeing none. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment if you have any questions. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.